Good morning, party people. Um, see, I'm here. Now, I bought a ballad song a while back, and I posted in the Blade Forms ballad song sub forum. So I figured I might as well make good on my word there and, and get you guys up to date on what uh, how it all worked out. So first of all, I am ill-prepared to make this video. Let me go grab my um, dialed calipers. <clears throat> Okay, so this is the Schrade. Um, it is supposedly made in the USA. I'm not going to dispute that, but um, the tolerance is sucked. Uh, major blade play. I mean, more blade play than um, than some China cheapies I've owned. I've owned Jaguars that, ha that held tighter tolerances. Um, second. I rock weld, and you can see lots of dents in this because I didn't believe myself at first. I mean, short of uh, putting a known hardness uh, object back in the in the tester, I um, oh, I got to sneeze. <laughs> Fuck! Wow, that was violent. And they usually come in pairs. I guess that was like a two for one, or a one for two. Fuck it. So yeah, a lot of dents in this guy. Because um, it Rockwell very low, like 55, 56. And so, uh, yeah, yeah, this is this is a very low hardened D2 blade. Um, Straight says that's what they use is D2. So, yeah, Manila folder made in USA. So the handles are some sort of cast steel. And they are steel because um, they sparked like steel. Like, oh, it's, it threw off the normal sparks of the stainless wood because I had to grind this end a little bit to this. Um, the, the safe handle was a little longer than the, than the bite handle. So because it was a, a Manila configuration, the, um, the, the, the latch is on uh, the safe handle. So that had to go too. one of my notes to self of things to do when I modified this knife. So yeah, first thing first, I popped the thing apart and traced this blade onto some 154 CM and the 154 CM that I had, on hand just happened to be barely perfectly bar barely yeah no no barely about it it perfectly fit these channels with a minimum amount of play necessary to make a ballast song functional without any washers or any bearings or any bushings or anything pin diameter is one eighth of an inch so um take a little measurement here so at the spine this uh d2 uh, factory blade is uh, 176 thousandths. My 154 CM blade is 194 thousandths. Big difference. Also helps, um, that weight helps in manipulation because of uh, um, better balance. I like a heavier balisong. Um, having a heavier blade helps a lot. That's another reason why I didn't grind a swedge into this knife like that one is, as I left it more of a utility. Um, I wanted to leave as much uh, meat on this blade as possible. And yes, yes, you'll notice I did do a V grind. It's because a chisel grind doesn't really quite work very well, and um, uh, especially channel butterfly handles, um, because it has a tendency to to scrape on the side. So yeah, I pretty much only had to, I had to do a um, V grind. Yeah. I can do a V grind. We've already established that. I just don't, it's not part of my brand, I guess you could say. So yeah. Um, weight. How much does this guy weigh altogether? 8.296 ounces. All right. Um, total length is nine and one eighth of an inch. <clears throat> Sharpened length is three and five eighths to the bolster or I guess um, from the uh, end of the handle four and a quarter perfect so how does it handle well I'll let you be the judge of that look at that that is the handle play on this thing perfect okay so I love that sound of that free non-latch gated latch. 
Uh, it, it's just very nostalgic. I'll zoom out a little. There's that's better. Mm hmm. Doctor the Bob Bellison cat. Out of the way. So. Yep. I'm very happy with this. Not bad for a $70 um, knife, and uh, I would say about <sighs> another uh, $30 of my time and materials. No, more than that. Yeah, $30 of my materials, if you're counting um, the money expended in heat treating and tempering. costs a lot of money to get that oven up to temperature and hold it. But all in all... Um, a knife that I was about to say, eh, fuck this shit and throw it away. Well, now it's actually something um, usable and um, a functional, and uh, I'm quite pleased with my work. So, Oh, the other thing. It latched up like so fucking loose that, you know, with this latch closed, I could flick it open. Yeah, so now it actually it latches up safely. You know, um, yeah, you got to squeeze it to, to pop the thing. Uh, this latch drop is tricky, but yeah. And so, yeah, it latches up open and closed. See? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. What about that, huh? Oh, yeah. So there it is. My um, Charlie Mike uh, Schrade Manila folder in 154CM at 59RC. All right. All right. As always, stay armed, stay alert, stay alive. Hua. God bless. Later. And no, I am not going to do this for your knife. Nope.